Hi all, welcome back to my video on problem solving and Python programming subject. Today we are going to see the topic on iteration or looping. Okay, so what is iteration or looping? It is defined as a block of statement which are repeatedly executed for multiple number of times until a particular condition is satisfied is called as an iteration. So, iteration is nothing but it is a block of statements which are repeatedly executed, okay, which are repeatedly executed for multiple number of times until a condition is satisfied that is called as an iteration or looping. Okay, so there are three types of iteration. One is while loop. The second one will be for loop. And third is nested loop. Okay, there are three looping statements you can use in Python. One is while loop, for loop and nested loop. First we will see the while loop. Coming to the while loop, we can say while loop is an entry controlled loop statement. Okay, so what do you mean by entry controlled loop statement is it will check for the condition first. If the condition is true, it will go for executing the body of the loop. If the condition is false, it comes outside. So it is called as entry controlled loop statement. And in C language, we have two types of loop that is while loop and do while loop but here we have only while loop in python so it is an entry control loop statement which means the condition is evaluated first if it is true then the body of the loop will be executed so it will check for the condition if the condition is true it will execute the body of the loop so we will see the syntax for this while loop so you can have an initialization part and we can go for while loop why the condition will be checked if the condition is true it goes inside and it will execute the body of the loop and you can have an increment variable also over here okay so this is your syntax now we will see the flowchart for this while loop so the flowchart for the while loop is the same so first we have an initialization part and the condition will be checked if the condition is true it will go for executing the body of the loop and it will have an increment variable and it will go for checking the next condition okay so this part will be executed multiple times until the condition is satisfied if the condition is false it comes outside and it will go for the remaining part it will go for executing the remaining part of the program so until the condition becomes false this condition will be executed okay so now we will see one simple example for this so here i have taken x to be 0 and while x is less than 5 colon so you have to give one left one indentation one tab space and you have to start writing the statement so this means that all the statements which has given one tab space belongs to this while loop so print of x x plus is equal to 1 so here initially we are going to set this x to be x will be equal to 0 right so it is the condition will be checked here while x is less than 5 that means 0 is less than 5 so the condition is true if the condition is true it will go for print f x that means it will print this is the output it will print of x so you have the value 0 so 0 will be printed on screen and now it is going to increment x plus is equal to 1 that means x will be incremented now x will be 1 okay again the condition is checked so it is 1 is less than 5 again it is true it will print this x that is print 1 it will print 1 on screen and now again x will be incremented x becomes 2 so 2 is less than 5 yes it is true it will print 2 on screen so it will print 2 on screen and so again it is incremented x will be equal to 3 so 3 is less than 5 yes it is true it will print 3 on screen so it will print 3 on screen now x will be incremented now x becomes 4 right so again the uh, it will be checked 4 is less than 5 it is again it is true so it is a print of 4 so it will print 4 on screen 
so again uh, this x will be incremented x becomes 5 okay so when it goes for checking now x is less than or equal to 5 the condition becomes false so once the condition becomes false it comes outside so what are all the values that has been printed on screen it has printed 0 1 2 3 4 so when you execute this program in python you will get the output like this so i think you understood the concept of while loop in python so while loop if you want to execute multiple times then you can go for executing using this while loop in your program so if, suppose if you want to print 1 to 100 in, uh, in the output screen just a simple line if you want to just what you can give us if you can give it here x is less than 101 okay if you give it like this it will print all the numbers starting from 0 to 100 okay so if you want to type it individually it will take more time so if you are going to use only these three lines in your program it will print n number of values at uh, within a uh, few seconds okay so this is what is while loop while loop uh, the concept is you have to give an initialization value and you can use a while condition body of the loop at last you should use increment variable if you are not using this increment variable then it will not it will be in the same the while the condition will be in the same place that is why you are going to use the increment variable at last okay suppose in this program if you are not going to use this x plus is equal to one incrementation then it will print the same value what happens is that it will go into an infinite loop that is why we are going to use this increment variable in your while statement okay we will see one more example in this while statement so if you have given a program to print even numbers from 0 till 100 okay till 100 you want to print only the even numbers between 0 to 100 so we are going to initialize the value so starting value is x to be 0 so while x is less than or equal to 100 so i want to proceed till 100 so i am giving here less than or equal to 100 you might be asking the previous program i have given uh, less than but here i have given less than or equal to so you can use any type of comparison operator over here based on the condition okay so if suppose if you are going to use uh, less, uh, if you are going to use one not one in that case you can use only less than here i have used 100 so i can give less than or equal to so it is uh, what happens over here is first the value will be checked so 0 is less than or equal to 100 so it is true it will print of x so it will print 0 on screen okay so it will print 0 on screen now x will be incremented by 2 x will become 2 now okay so next again the program it will check for the x condition 2 is less than or equal to 100 yes it is true it will print of x that means it will print 2 on screen so x will be equal to incremented so x will become 4 likewise it goes on printing all the even numbers till 100 okay less than or equal to 100 it will print all the numbers so this is a very simple program to print the even numbers between 0 to 100 similarly you can write any program uh, like you can also print natural numbers or you can also print even odd numbers like that okay next comes for loop for loop is it is also an another repetitive control structure it is used to execute the set of instructions repeatedly until the condition becomes false so it is like while loop we can also use for loop in your python program so where you can if you want to execute multiple statements the statements multiple times then you can use this for loop so the difference between the while loop and for loop is the syntax the syntax will be for the variable in the sequence colon and you have to give one indentation and you have to write all the statements so when you give indentation all the statements will belong to this for loop so for the variable in the sequence colon the statements we will see the examples then you will understood this for loop concept first we will see the flow chart coming to the flow chart it is same like for the variable in sequence if the if the variable it is in the sequence if the sequence is there it will if it is true it will go for executing the statements and it will go for getting the next uh, uh, next it will take the next value in the sequence suppose if the if there is no value in the sequence if that means if it is false it go for executing the next statement in your for loop okay so this is simple so here i have given use i've used for for loop i've used this uh, decision box that means it is like rhombus box i have used in some books they are using this symbol also you can use either this symbol or otherwise you can use this symbol for representing your for loop okay so coming to the example the example i have used for k in 10 20 30 40 50 
call and print of x what it will print when you execute this program what output you will get is so we will see this so for k in 10 20 this is a sequence this is a variable okay you can give any variable name over here i have used k over here k in 10 20 30 40 50 so first time when it is executing this for loop k will have the value 10 okay so when k will be having a value 10 it goes inside and it will print of k that means it will print 10 on screen so when it is executing for the second time k will get the value 20 so print of k it will print 20 on screen next time it will get the value 30 likewise when it is executing each time it will the the value will get changed well, it will get the value inside the sequence. So, 40 and 50. So, once all the values has been assigned to these sequence, that since there is no values inside the sequence, the for loop will stop executing. So, it comes outside. So, it has printed all the values on screen. So, the syntax is for the variable in the sequence. The sequence here I have given a list value. So, it will take each time it is executing, it will take one by one and it will print the values on screen now we will see the same example what change i have done is that instead of giving the list here i am storing this list into a variable called num num will be equal to the list items i'm giving 10 20 30 40 50 so here i'm giving for k in num that means for every variable for every value in this num it you are going to print x print of k so both the program will give you the same output it will give you 10 20 30 40 and 50 on screen so this is how it will execute your for loop either you can uh, give this list items inside the for loop or otherwise you can represent it or you can assign the value outside the for loop also okay i think you all understood this for loop for loop is very sim simple if you want to execute multiple times then you can use this for loop like this okay now we will see the use of range function range function in while loop before going to that we will see this syntax for range range of start stop and step so this is a function you have in built-in function which you have in python you can use it in while loop okay so how you what is the syntax for this range function is range of start stop and step start value will give you the starting number of the sequence and stop value will give you the ending number but it will not include this ending number till that value it will execute and step will give you the difference between each number in the sequence start will give you the starting number and stop will generate the numbers up to this but it will not include the this this stopping number and step will give you the difference between the two numbers in the sequence okay so now we will see the example for uh, this range function for i in instead of giving the list of items you can also give it like this range of five so what do you mean by range of five the range of five it means it's starting from here uh, i have used only this five that means it represent your stopping value here i have not used i have not given starting value and step value if it is not mentioned uh, by default the range function will start executing from 0 and the step value it will be considered as 1 so the range of 5 it means 0 1 2 3 4 it will not include the this number 5 so this is what the range of 5 so range of 5 will have the value 0 1 2 3 4 so when you execute this for loop so for i in range of 5 that means i will take the value 0 first time print of i it will print 0 on screen next time i will take the value 1 it will print 1 on screen third time it will take the value uh, 3 that is 2 and next it will print all the values on the screen so this is how it will get printed now we will see one more example for i in range of 3 comma 6 so here i have given the starting value and here the ending value is given but step value is not given so by default it will take the step value to be 1 so what is range of 3 comma 6 that is nothing but starting value is 3 it will start generating the numbers till the 6 so 3 4 5 so this is what you will get range of 3 comma 6 is 3 4 5 so when you execute this program in python interpreter the output you will get is i will get the value 3 first time so it will print 3 on screen next time it will print 4 on screen 
next time it will print 5 on screen so 3 4 5 is output for this particular program the next uh, example is for i in range of 4 comma 10 comma 2 so here i have given the starting value this is step value this is your stopping value and your step value so here it will start generating the numbers from 4 4 and it is step values 2 it will increment by 2 4 comma 6 comma 8 so here i have given here 10 so it will not the include the number 10 so less than 10 it will generate all the numbers so 4 6 8 is your the range of 4 comma 10 comma 2 so when you execute this particular program so you will get on screen 4 6 8 so this is what the output you will get for this particular program okay so the last example in for loop is for ch in python within single quote colon print of ch so here in the last example we have seen uh, how to print the list values or how to use uh, range function in while loop now we are going to see how to print the string value so any we all know if anything which is given in single quote is nothing but string so here in this program i have used a uh, string con string here python word which i want to print it on screen so for ch is a very ch is a variable name ch in python so for every time when it is executing this for loop ch will be assigning a value p so it will print of ch it will print p on screen second time it is executing it will get it will take the second letter in this word y it will print y on screen third time it will take a value t h o n so this is what the output you will get when you execute this particular program so i think you all have understood the concept of file loop and for loop in python and the next one more uh, control structure is nested loop which i'll be explaining to you in the next video okay thank you all for watching thank you